Bread knife, meat box. Box, bread knife. Wow, motion picture looks even better. All right, so today we're gonna be unboxing and taking a look at the LG 34UM88C. It just rolls off the tongue. And today we're also gonna be opening it with a bread knife because a typical pair of scissors is boring. So we're using the stainless steel blade slicer 4000 by Chef Excellence. I wasn't even rolling. Sound. All right, guys, so we're going to try that again. Anyway, today we're here with our good friend Lucky Gold Star. Yes, and we're going to unbox this. And I forgot to roll again. Holy sh! Oh my. Why? Why do I suck at my job? How hard can this video be? So we're with our friend Lucky Gold Star here today because I want to try out a new monitor. Uh, yeah, over here. This is where it is. This beautiful thing is 34 inches. It is a 21 to 9 aspect ratio, and it, I think it can produce 1 billion colors. That's my understanding, that this thing can produce over 1 billion colors. Here's the main reason I want to try it out. I've been using an Apple Cinema display for the longest time, and the gloss is starting to drive me freaking crazy. So I wanted to get something with a big screen with a matte finish. So that is what we're trying out, and we're going to see how it works. Let's keep opening it up. Okay, so it looks like we got some packaging here. And it looks like we have a CD in there. I have not seen one of those in a long time. And a warning, do not put the bag on your head. It's not as fun as the kids say. And inside said bag, we have a power supply unit, it looks like. An HDMI cable. A display port cable. And the other end of the power cord. We also have some things. So, I just want to warn you guys, if you're going to use this with a Mac like me, it will not work out of the box unless you use HDMI. But I'm a man and will not. So I'm going to use mini display port. So you got to make sure you have a mini display port to full size display port adapter or cable on hand so it actually works. Thankfully I do, so I'm good to go. But just a heads up for all of you out there. Be careful. It's, it's a dongle eat dongle world. That was the most masculine sentence I've ever said. Anyway, instructions. Hopefully we don't need those, right? And this. This is that curvy stand. This is what the monitor stands on, and it's all curvy because it's natural. There's no right angles or straight edges in nature. Some, some guy said that. So now we begin the foam extraction process. One moment. The foam extraction process. Oh, for crying out loud! There we go. There we go. That's the fun part right there. I lied. The fun part is next. Now, I just have to say, there were some people that complained there was too much crotch shot in the last episode of the show. So I decided to address the issue myself with more crotch shot. Let's enjoy. So now, we're going to begin the monitor extraction process. This requires a lot of skill. Okay, so this is the panel itself wrapped in a beautiful foam here. And, you know, I just got to say, a little bit of advice. Keep the packaging for this shit, because if you ever have to ship it when you sell it, you'll already have everything that's the right size. I didn't listen to myself when I did that with my cinema display. I got rid of the packaging and, well, now I don't have an easy way to ship it. So, just a little advice. All right, so I think we should unwrap this later when it's more... Uh, more appropriate. I'm just going to move this. Right. Now, take out the stand. So the, the nice curvy feng shui part will go in there. Am I pronouncing that right? I'm sure everybody on the internet's going to correct my grammar because everybody in their hamster is a grammar Nazi. And then foam is all that's left in here. So we are now done with this. Okay, now, now that we have our basic ingredients harvested from the field, we are going to cook together a lovely monitor a la bitch slap. So, let's start with the curve. Unwrap the curve. I'm a professional, trust me. Hang on. I, I don't want to, like, destroy this because I'm not sure if I'm really keeping it, so I want to keep the packaging in somewhat good condition. Okay, hang on, I found it. Little tape right there. All right.
That's a dead end. Okay, we're gonna try the tape on this side. Hang on. <laughs> Wait for the snap. Fuck, that is, ah! Yikes, cutting off the blood circulation. All right. Le voila. Take off the protective shrinky wrap stuff. Nice little brushed metal look. Actually, okay, so it is plastic, but it looks like brushed metal. All right. That is part one of the assembly procedure. Time to take a stand. You know, just for the record, I'm glad Apple doesn't package their stuff like this. <laughs> All right, and take off the protective, protective shrinky wrap stuff. Also, if, you, if you're a new viewer to Crazy Ken, I hope you've caught on by now that this is not really supposed to be an educational series. We have other videos for that. And that is the second part of the procedure. And I have no idea how this is supposed to move. So we're gonna, oh, that's, okay, I understand. This is the, this is for the monitor. <laughs> so we insert the, the thingamawatsit into the, you know, I might want to consult the instructions before I break this. So, uh... oh, hang on, that is actually really easy. It's kind of like, um, like a tripod plate. You just uh, screw it into the receptacle. No tools necessary. Some assembly required. There we go. That is the stand. Now next is the monitor itself. All right, so we have our nice big panel in here. Let's just slowly remove it from the protective condom unit. Holy, okay, almost took out my head. There we go. Wow. That is fucking huge. Okay, and as you can see, we're already testing the matte finish here. As you can see with the softbox there, the matte finish is blurring that really nicely. Beautiful. Take off the film. Don't you just love peeling this shit off of new technology? Okay. So this is going to screw onto here. So that's what those four screws are for. So let's take care of that. All right, so this may not be the smartest way to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, that maybe actually wasn't too bad. <laughs> so until we open up the after dark version of this channel, uh, this is the only screwing you're gonna be seeing, so don't get used to it. And one last little screw. There you go, buddy. Nice and snug. Oh my gosh, just look at how big this is. Oh, goodness. Let's have a let's have a little measurement, shall we? Wow. This thing is larger than my boyfriend's. Dick, come take a look at this video. Hmm? Dude, that monitor is bigger than your meat. It's what's for breakfast by Jimmy G. So, yep. Yeah, here it is. 34 inches, ultra wide 21 to 9 aspect ratio. And can't forget this. Oh, oh, it's on my face. Oh, that got dirty really quick. That is one of life's simple pleasures, removing the film off a new piece of technology. Oh, just, just fondle it, just fondle it for a while. Just rub oil all over it. Okay, this is getting really after dark. I'm gonna go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everything in between. We're now about to witness together in harmony the first power on of this 34 inch monitor. There's a little nipple right here. It feels like a little D-pad, probably for on-screen controls. Something I'm not quite used to after using an Apple display for so long, frankly, but there must be trade-offs. And I think you click it to power it on and click. Let's look. Whoa, little startup chime, okay. Look at that picture. Ain't that something? No signal. No signal, people. Okay, um, that's a problem. So here's the heads-up display. Oh, it just went away, you bitch. Okay, so you click the button for the heads-up display, you long press to turn it off, or you can go to the off menu. 
Let's try input and switch to DisplayPort. That, wow, is actually kind of a pretty on-screen display. Usually they look like shit. And... Wow. 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 Okay, hang on. Before we freak out. This message says, Caution, make sure to use a supplied display port and HDMI cable. Well, none of your supplied stuff's gonna work with my computer the way I want it to, so I'm just gonna abort. But look at this! You, you're not here! You can't even begin to describe this. Those bezels are thin! It's not all reflective! It's a matte finish, oh my gosh. Let me put a photograph that I shot on here to see if it passes the test. I think we got enough real estate. Okay, so change background. I'm gonna go to my photos and let's choose that one, yeah. So far, so good. Okay, first impressions, it looks great. I can tell by looking closer at the actual hardware itself that it is a cheaper monitor. I can tell by some of the build quality. But just coming from an Apple ecosystem for so many things, I'm kind of spoiled. But that aside, this is really beautiful so far. So, fingers crossed that I stick with it, right? Wow. Well, the verdict is in, and hentai looks perfect on this. But now we need to test it with motion picture hentai. Wow, motion picture looks even better. Okay, so far this display has been a great investment, even though it's really not much of an investment, it's more of a purchase. But hey, it passes the test. Is it getting hot in here? The space heater's off. That's weird. Okay, so it's really nice that the computer monitor has built-in speakers. Kudos. So the initial verdict is in. I likes it. It's gonna take some more testing to really prove it, but all in all, I mainly just wanted to get a monitor with less glare. <laughs> so far, this has proven to be that. All right, guys, we're done. Well, we did it without sustaining any bodily injuries. Now, I will say, if I do end up keeping this monitor, there are a few things I will miss from the cinema display. For example, just being able to control the brightness right from the keyboard out of the box, the built-in webcam, the built-in microphone, the ability to charge my laptop off of it. Those are nice things that I will miss if I stick with this, but I'm gaining a lot more, so I weighed the pros and cons, and I'm willing to test this sucker out. So if you want to get one of these for yourselves to try out, just click the card, and purchase it right there. And then, if you use it and like it, let us know what you think. Even if you don't like it, still let us know what you think. But if you like it, tell them I sent you. If you don't like it, don't mention me. I don't exist. <laughs> Alright, tech junkies, that is all I got for you. I'll see you in the not-too-distant future.